I'm here trying to get ready for a non-ferrous run. I'm having some issues uh, mentally um, because whenever I used to do non-ferrous runs, it was always a case of um, stripping everything and then taking it. Whereas I realise now there's no way the amount of scrap I've got around that I can get it all stripped in a timely fashion to get the non-ferrous in. For example, I've got nine microwaves there. I've got another two or three at the front, maybe one on the trailer as well. I've got all these to do, which I'm doing for a video. I've got a humidifier, a dehumidifier. I've got a couple of combi boilers to do. I'm not sure how I'm going to get them done. I haven't decided if I'm taking my aluminium pile yet because we have an issue getting it along. Got stainless pile over here. Back in the day, stainless used to be about a pound a kilo. Now it's only about 75, 80p. So that's a bit annoying. A load of um, dishwashers, and I was going to take all of the inside doors out because they're stainless but I'm not going to have time to do that either I don't think I've got another issue firstly I don't even know if I can really no, it's, that's the issue I've got my bucket's broken. Pretty much every bin and tub I've got has got a cracked bottom in. As soon as I put that brass in, it's going to fall through. So I have to find something else to put it all in. It's 6 a.m. I've been up for an hour. I'm uh, two coffees in. You can see that I don't look fully awake. Um, it's much better to. I've got to drive to the next county to uh, take my non ferrous in. So it's much better to be uh, be over there early when they open. But yeah, I'm pretty tired. Um, I've got to carry my. Uh, copper and stuff out there was a spate around here there's been a couple of spates of people breaking into locked cars um, they use uh, some sort of gizmo to connect your keys in your house with your car and they can just unlock your car and there's lots of people on like the local Facebook group saying I thought I locked my car up and they have locked the car up it's just these people can unlock it and you have to leave your keys in your microwave or whatever or buy a special box to put them in that stops this box of tricks connecting to it. I don't even know if the microwave thing's real but anyway I wasn't leaving my copper and brass in for for someone to nick, yeah, I've been building that for weeks, months, so yeah, I'm not letting someone take it. And I didn't strap the trailer down last night, like I said, I was going to on uh, Scrapping Irish's live stream, so yeah, I need to get all that done. I've got one bucket left, and it's probably the heaviest one. I split the brass in two, but one half's a bit bigger than the other. My plastic bucket broke, but um, fortunately, the other day, mixed mowers of YouTube uh, gave me a load of scrap and he gave me a couple of party buckets so my brass has got in those all I'm saying is if you go to mix for a barbecue the beer might be a bit warm stainless is all strapped on the stainless heating tank is going to the back of the van tubs are strained on unfortunately my dear old van is the sort of car that ices up on the inside and the outside so I'm going to be waiting a minute for this to defrost I'm also sweating mine out from loading up all I really want is money in my pocket. This is uh, EMR, European Metal Recycling, Dundas Spur, Portsmouth. A lot of changes here since I first came. When I first came here, that was the Weybridge and everything that came in, all the lorries, all the all the individual people had the way there, go to the window there. It's all changed now for the better. There's in and out Weybridges there. Um, it was a bit of a thing, you used to come here in a little van with a trailer or a uh, Land Rover with a trailer and then queue up with the great big articulated lorries and whatnot. But the, um, yeah, it's too far to bring iron nowadays. But um, over the other side is uh, where the non ferrous goes. See, that used to be where that garage door is here, that used to be all the non ferrous for the yard came in there. Um, now they've built a separate structure over this side of the yard. And everything goes in there. There's, there's big uh, hoppers over there for all the. So I've not been paid yet. You may well ask why haven't I been paid? Well, I'll get to that. So the reason I haven't been paid yet is because I no longer have an account at the scrapyard I went to, and the bank statement I took to set up the account. Uh, I wasn't recent enough, so I've had to come home and find a different bank uh, statement. Who has bank statements these days? 
I only happen to have an old student account that I have bank statements for. Um, like my, my main bank is all, you know, papers, it's all online. Um, yeah, nuisance. You remember the good old days when you got paid cash? You go into the office, you take your ticket, you get a big wad of money, and then all you had to worry about was getting mugged on the way out of the office, and you'd go out ready to knock someone out because you thought they might try and, you know, have, have their hand in your pocket. The good old days. So, anyway, I am, um, I've come back, I'm going to head shave, I'm going to jump in the shower. Uh, not that shower, I haven't finished building that yet. I could forget that, but my wife doesn't let me forget that I haven't finished building the shower. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a shower, uh, take my paperwork, go back over and get paid. Get myself a nice lunch, finish watching the boys on Amazon Prime and take the rest of the day off, basically. You want to know what it made, don't you? Well then. <laughs> So there we go, the Christmas turkey fund is looking very healthy this year. I'm going to get a turkey the size of Fred Flintstone's budgie. I'll tell you something, like, no doubt I'm carrying, yeah, a bit of weight, but I am a beautiful man. I'm not conventionally attractive, but if you're into someone who looks like they've got unresolved rage issues, then yeah, I'm up there. Mm -hmm. Thank you.